Hi guys, hi warriors. So this week I have for you Ziva 59 and it's another cross body workout, which means that we're targeting really our abs, our entire core with, this, with these exercises. So I'm gonna go over each exercise. I'm gonna explain to you this workout. Basically, this is the entire workout breakdown so that you can actually try this workout at home on your own. And then later this week, I'm gonna post a video um, of myself doing this workout in a real time so that you see real struggle, real sweat and tears. And um, you know, you can also jump in and follow along rep by rep with me if you want to. But today I'm giving you the workout so you can try it at home. It's a time challenge. So your goal is to complete this workout as fast as you can but do not sacrifice your proper form. So I suggest that you're really paying attention to your proper form when you're doing these exercises instead of rushing through, but don't take any breaks. Try to go from exercise to exercise without taking any long breaks. So first exercise in this workout is gonna be RDL push-up. So this exercise looks like this. You're gonna get into the plank. So your hands are underneath your shoulders now keep your body in one straight line do not drop your hips so that you're not hurting your lower back do not push your hips up so that you're targeting more your abs and now you're gonna do a push-up so bend your elbows as far as you can get your body low to the ground push up now you're gonna step with your left foot next to your left hand right next to it like this and now you're gonna bring your left elbow to the ground. Touch the ground right next to your foot. Now this might be challenging for all of you who don't have such a great flexibility, but you have to try your best. Even if you cannot touch it to the ground, you're trying. Because it's gonna open up your hips, it stretches your inner thighs. So try to touch the ground and then rotate, open up your chest and look up your hand and back down into the plank again, the same thing towards the other side. So do a push up, step next to your right hand, touch the right elbow to the ground next to your foot and then rotate, open up your chest and look up your hand. And you're gonna do 10 reps. So the second exercise is cross round the world exercise. And I'm using this comfortable mat for my knees. You can do the same thing. And I'm using 20 pound dumbbell. Main focus of this exercise is to keep your core really tight. Flat abs, do not crunch anything, do not hunch your back. Just keep your body straight up the entire time. Abs flat. So grab the dumbbell. You're gonna start here next to your left hip and you're gonna bring the dumbbell across your body, up behind your head and down. This is a great exercise for shoulder mo mobility, you know, and also because you're trying to, your focus is on your abs, you're trying to keep this entire midsection really, really tight. So, you're starting here, you're gonna go around, keep your body tight, you're gonna end up next to your right hip, and then you're gonna reverse the movement, and do the same thing on the other side, so, around the world, next to your left hip again. And we're doing 20 reps. So, one around is one rep, and this is the second rep, and so on. Third one is weighted reverse lunge twister. Complicated names for these exercises. We're gonna reverse the lunge, so we're gonna go backwards. So you're gonna lunge back, and then you're gonna twist across your body again towards uh, your right side. So, if you lunge with your left leg back, you're gonna be twisting towards your right side, like this, until you feel the tension in your obliques in the side. So, then that's one rep. Second rep is you're gonna alternate the sides. So, right leg back, and you're rotating towards the left side. And so, one. Try to keep your balance, this exercise is challenging for your balance as well. Again, everything has to be tight, so uh, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, keep everything tight and don't bend over. I've seen many people doing like that they 
when they lunge, they bend over. Do not do that, that's a mistake. You have to keep your body straight up and then twist. Okay, so we're doing 20 reps, alternating the sides. So 20 reps total. Next exercise is gonna be cross body mountain climber. I would say it's more like cross body plank, but we can call it whatever we want. I'll show you what it looks like. So you're gonna get into the plank. Now, you're gonna bring your knee in straight forward. From this position, you're gonna go across your body. Then straight and then back to the starting position. So it's not a fluid movement. You're not doing this. You have to go first straight forward and then you rotate and then back and then into the plank. Now the same thing on the other side. So uh, knee tuck forward, then rotate back in the middle and then back into the plank. And try to keep, again, the challenge here is to keep your body in one straight line again. Do not drop your hips, do not push your hips up. Try to keep it in one line. That's the, that's the challenge for this exercise. It's gonna, uh, you're gonna feel like pushing your hips up when you're doing this, especially when you're doing the knee tucks and stuff. But try to keep it, you know, in one line. Try to really keep your core tight. And we're doing 20 reps, alternating the, the legs. So 20 reps total. Last exercise, it's a cardio exercise, but it's a lateral movement. So the last time I did this exercise, the lateral movement, I had my butt hurt from it, you know, because it's a different movement. And using this new piece of equipment that I haven't used before, it just makes it everything more challenging. So 30 skips, and the skip looks like this. You're gonna go up on the ball, switch legs, land here and you're gonna touch the ground. So across your body, you're touching the ground next to your foot. Same thing on the other side. But you have to pick up the pace, you have to go as fast as you can, and we're doing 30 reps total. And when you're, one thing, I don't want you to round your back when you're touching the ground, do not round your back like this. Push your hips back, keep your back straight, then touch the ground. Keep your abs tight. And that's it, you're gonna feel it really, you're gonna feel it here and you're gonna feel it in your butt after this exercise. So, our goal is to complete three rounds for time. So try to be as fast as you can and then you can compare your time with my time because I'm gonna do this workout in, a, as I said, in a real time so you can see me uh, struggling through it. I'm gonna try my best, pu best push, push really, really hard, um, because the harder you push, the more progress you're gonna make, the more benefits you're gonna get out of this workout. These workouts are meant to be short, but super intense, so that you really boost your metabolism and so that you're burning more calories throughout the day. <sighs> so, that's it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow because I'm doing videos every day. Ciao. Hi, I'm Zuska, and this is my new DVD cardio series. It's supposed to be super intense workout, and you feel like you have no strength left. I don't spend hours working out at the gym. What I do are short but high intensity body shaping workouts. I have taken my most effective moves and workouts and created DVD cardio series that is going to change your body. This is workout number four. We're doing Tabata training. 20 seconds of maximum effort, 10 seconds rest, and there are five exercises in this workout. <laughs> Let's do this. You are going to be fitter, stronger and thinner, but most importantly, you're going to love the way you look. The Power Cardio DVD series comes with 3 DVDs and 30 day fold out calendar that will guide you day by day to get you into the best shape ever. So now we're gonna do our cool down and stretching, that's what you should do after each one of your workouts. <laughs> 